टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज बीटा ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ फैटी एसिड द ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ य फैटी एसिड टू असिटेल को ये इट अकर इन माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया इट इज ए एरोबिक प्रोसेस सो हाउ वी विल डिफाइन दैट बीटा ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ फैटी एसिड डिफाइन एज द ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ फैटी एसिड ऑन द बीटा कार्बन एडम दिस रिजल्ट इन द सीक्वेशनल रिमूवल ऑफ टू कार्बन फ्रैगमेंट असिटेल कोए आफ्टर प्रोडक्शन ऑफ असिटेल कोए इज फेड डायरेक्टली इनटू क्रब साइकिल सपोज इट इज फैटी एसिड इट नंबर्स फ्रॉम दिस कार्बोक्सिल एंड एंड द कार्बन एटम एडजस्टेंट टू दिस कार्बोक्सिल ग्रुप इट इज नोन एज अल्फा बीटा कामा एंड सो ऑन and its methyl end it numbered omega 1 omega 2 omega 3 and so on and most common fatty acid oxidation is beta oxidation of fatty acid in this beta oxidation of fatty acid there is successful removal of two carbon component removal of two carbon component that is acetyl coa and it is typically involved in the beta carbon and there is cleavage in between alpha and beta carbon that is known as beta oxidation of fatty acid in which there is a successive formation of acetyl coa next site it occurs in many tissue like liver kidney heart and muscles beta oxidation does not occur in brain there are several type of fatty acid oxidation first one is beta oxidation of fatty acid alpha oxidation of fatty acid and omega oxidation of fatty acid now coming to beta oxidation in proper in the beta oxidation there is successive removal of two carbon component leads to the generation of acetyl coa and energy there are three steps first one is activation of fatty acid in the cytosol second one transport of activated fatty acid into mitochondria third one is beta oxidation proper in the mitochondrial matrix first one is activation of fatty acid in cytosol activation what happen fatty acid is converted into acyl adenylate then it converted into acyl coenzyme a this required atp is converted into inorganic pyrophosphate there is utilization of two high energy phosphate then utilization of coenzyme a and liberation of amp these two steps catalyzed by enzyme thiokinase or acyl coa synthetase two high energy phosphate molecules are utilized in this reaction it is a reversible and it required atp magnesium for their activation now coming to transport the inner mitochondrial membrane is impermeable to fatty acid yeah specialized carnitine carrier system that is carnitine settle operates to transport activated fatty acid from cytosol to the mitochondria acyl coenzyme a combined with carnitine it is converted into 
அசைல் கார்னிட்டின் வித் தி ஹெல்ப் ஆஃப் என்சைம் கார்னிட்டின் அசைல் டிரான்ஸ்ஃபரேஸ் ஒன் இட் இஸ் டிரான்ஸ்போர்ட்டட் த்ரூ இன்னர் மைட்டோகான்ட்ரியல் மெம்ரைன் வித் தி ஹெல்ப் ஆஃப் கேரியர் ப்ரோட்டீன் டிரான்ஸ்லொக்கேஸ் நவ் இன்சைடு மைட்டோகான்ட்ரியா இன்சைடு மைட்டோகான்ட்ரியா இட் இஸ் கன்வெர்ட்டட் இன்டு கார்னிட்டின் ப்ளஸ் அசைல் கோயன்சைம் ஏ வித் தி ஹெல்ப் ஆஃப் என்சைம் கார்னிட்டின் அசைல் டிரான்ஸ்பரேஸ் டூ திஸ் அசைல் கோயை டிரான்ஸ்போர்ட் திஸ் கார்னிட்டின் ரிலீஸ்ட் ஆர் ரிட்டன் டு சைட்டோசால் ஃபார் ரீயூஸ் and now oxidation in proper it have four steps it included four steps first one is oxidation second one is hydration third one is oxidation fourth one is cleavage this oxidation is catalyzed by enzyme acyl coa dehydrogenase hydration with the help of vinyl coenzyme a hydrodes oxidation with the help of beta hydroxy acyl coenzyme a dehydrogenase cleavage with the help of thiolase there are four steps of beta oxidation now beta oxidation proper this is inside the mitochondria the activation of fatty acid occur in cytosol inside mitochondria the fatty acid acyl coenzyme a is transported to the mitochondria with the help of carnitine cetal system so fatty acid is converted into acyl coa this acyl coa is acted upon enzyme acyl coa dehydrogenase in this fad is required fad is converted into fadh2 this fadh2 enter to electron transport chain it producing two atp molecules so this acyl coa is converted into trans enoyl coa this trans enoyl coa is converted into beta hydroxy acyl coa acted upon enzyme enoyl coenzyme a hydrodes for this reaction hydration will occur water molecule will added here then this beta hydroxy acyl coa is converted into beta keto acyl coa acted upon enzyme beta hydroxy acyl coa dehydrogenase in this nad is reduced is converted into nadh2 this nadh2 enter to electron transport chain means is producing three atp molecules again here the beta uh, keto acyl coa acted upon thiolase enzyme here cleavage process will occur it converted into acyl coa and acetyl coa this acetyl coa enter to tca cycle this this acyl coa again follow the same type of beta oxidation reaction acyl coa is converted into trans enoyl coa it is a oxidation reaction trans enoyl coa is converted into beta hydroxy acyl coa it is a hydration process this beta hydroxy acyl coa converted into beta keto acyl coa it is a oxidation reaction then here this beta keto acyl coa here cleavage process will occur so four process two oxidation one hydration here cleavage process 
palmitic acid undergo the beta oxidation it is 16 carbon it will undergo 7 cycle 7 cycle of beta oxidation so there is the formation of 7 NADH2 7 FADH2 and 18, 8 molecules of acetyl CoA 7 NADH2 7 FADH2 8 molecules of acetyl CoA each acetyl CoA which is oxidized in citric acid cycle give 12 ATP molecules so 8 into 12 96 ATP molecules 2 ATP molecules utilized for the activation of fatty acid so here 7 NADH2 7 NADH2 into 3 one, one time NAD enter to electron transport chain means it producing 3 molecules of ATP one time FADH2 enter to electron transport chain means it producing 2 molecules of ATP so 7 into 3 7 into 2 here 8 into 12 96 2 utilization so palmitic acid gives 1 to 9 ATP molecules energy gain in beta oxidation palmitic acid 129 ATP molecules so now we will see that notes format beta oxidation of fatty acid Thanks for watching.